Good morning, everybody. This is race day. Hey, I'm I'm going to do something a little different in the video world for my my videos, and I thought it'd be fun. Oh, uh, where the crap did I put them? Hmm. Oh, wrong pocket. My keys. Um, folks. I do a lot of videos, machining videos. You've seen the outside of my place and everything. So, I'm doing something a little different today. And we're going to show you. Everybody knows that my other hobby besides machining is racing. And uh, I'm the proud owner of Thunder Bomber race car. And, excuse me, if you're looking around, you also notice... My you know, I've been building on a new shop. We have no electricity in the shop as yet. We're still working on that part. So it's gonna be a little dark inside. But we're going to, what I'm gonna do is show you kind of what I do to get ready to go to the race every Saturday. So let me walk through this dark shop. The video won't be real good here for you. And let's get this uh, door open. And let's start getting ready to go racing them today. So, uh, let me go get this door open. I'll bring you right back. Okay. Now, for those of you who follow my channel on a regular basis, you know about this shop I'm building. Uh, we're working on, this is a, like everything else, a work in progress. So, here's what happens. Here's what, here's what we're doing. This is the shop. And there's the front of the race car. Uh, for those who watch my channel and uh, a lot, here's talk about the race car. So uh, this is what we call in in our area a thunder bomber. Uh, basically, it's a Monte Carlo underneath of the between seventy eight, I think, and eighty three or eighty four. Or it could be a, cut, uh, a Cutlass or a Pontiac or uh, several different GM cars to that vintage because they're all underneath the same. I think a Monte Carlo, a Pontiac Grand Prix, a Buick Regal, an Oldsmobile Cutlass is basically the same car. Then you had a Malibu, which is basically the same underneath and I think there was an Oldsmobile and I'm not sure about a Pontiac it's four door three door basically it's the same cars and that's kind of what these are built out of most of the time they want the two door cars for the wheel bases and stuff then there's a roll cage built in it the suspension on this car is pretty much the way General Motors sent it out um, we were allowed to use racing A-arms and we got obviously racing springs, racing shocks. The rear end's a Ford, Ford 90 inch that's been modified to fit the Chevrolet. These are floater rear ends, so if you break an axle or something, you don't have a wreck. The body is out of solid aluminum. This is a sheet aluminum that's bent, and you can see it's kind of been beat up. And if you'll notice this particular side of the car, this one's bent this week because we lost ours. It's so rough. These are commercially available noses, and this has been repaired a lot. That's the way it looks. So there's the car. Here's my pickup. There's tools all over. The tools you see sitting in the car and stuff will eventually load it. So the first thing we're going to do, now that we've done history lesson, is start getting ready. Well, first thing got to do is have something to drink. So. I've got cooler here. This water and stuff was left over from last week. And what I'm going to do, I tend to use Gatorades. I have stomach issues. So, I uh, tend to pitch Gatorades in the cooler myself. There's some bottled water. You notice there's no ice in it, so we'll go here in a few minutes. I'll take a trip to the local store and get two bags of ice. Trailer's down there, the race car's here. So the first thing I'm going to do 
is forever I left my keys as I leave them in the door. Well, surely I did. All right, I'm going to go get my keys, run to the store, get a couple bags of ice. We'll be right back. Now, I'm going to set you up, and I'm going to do a time lapse on loading the truck up outside the shop instead of wasting a lot of video time. So I'm going to set the time lapse up, and you'll see what the stuff come out of the shop. You'll just see a lot of running around. Okay, hang loose. Okay, a couple of things worth noting here. Uh, you notice we don't have no fancy trailers. This is a little bit. It's actually these trail, any trailers expensive. Closed trailers, probably three times as expensive. The real nice thing about a closed trailer, you can put everything in it. It's like that you see the race car still laying on the ground. Well, right now, I think, and I'll let me look at my uh, cell phone. It's 1022 this morning. So, the gates of the track don't open at 3 o'clock. We won't, it'll be 3 to 3.30 before we load. It's a six mile trip over to East Lincoln Speedway from here. So it's about a 10, 15 minute drive. And so we need to be there a little after around four. We gotta go up to the promoter's office because of last week uh, and talk to talk with him. and. Fellow competitors, uh, I think they want to make sure we don't, you know, everybody's kind of calmed down from all that. And um, so that's it. The other thing is, you notice the cars on jack stands, it stays on them things. It gets backed into the shop, put up on them, and it stays on the race day. Uh, that stretches your shocks in the springs, it takes load off suspension, it just, you know, helps make the car handle better. So while we do it so this is all the pre-race except loading and uh, the car and I'm not so sure that I'll do that because when Justin gets here it'll be in a rush and uh, so we're about ready to go so this is what I do myself every Saturday or every Friday whenever we race so it takes about an hour an hour it takes about 35 40 minutes to get everything situated and if the, the, you know, and I, that's one reason that folks have went to closed trailers. A lot of this, they keep toolboxes on it. They keep a lot of stuff on the trailer, and basically all they do is back the trailer up and drop the ramp, put the race car in it. You know, and then they store the race cars in them sometimes. But you know, we're kind of a budget team, even though we do have some uh, backing from. My nephew, Mike Burris, and Unique Heat in the Air. And, uh, you know, but a lot of them, you know, truthfully, at this level, you, you get, a, you get some backing and the most of your money comes out of your own funds and what you can win. And, uh, a six, seven thousand dollar trailers is about as much as the race car <laughs> costs originally. So that's just the kind of the way it is. And, I hope uh, you enjoyed this little video.